Good morning. Here we are at the uh, tiny plot. Uh, I'm Phil, just in case anybody wasn't sure. And we're here this morning in the uh, onion house, looking at the propagating setup. Saturday the 17th. I sowed 10 days ago and things have uh, come on very nicely. I'm very pleased. Just have a quick turn around so you can see the all the bubble wrap and there is the zip all the way down which is doing a grand job a wonderful thing keep any warmth in here save me heating the world and there we have the tray that in uh, probably a month's time when the onions are too big for the propagator that'll be filled with a inch and a half of sand in with a soil cable heated soil cable and then lighting above which will be attached up there so back to the uh, onions so this time I had, I think I had five onions out uh, to grow through the summer uh, the insects did their job and produced me a nice amount of seed I've sown about a third of it there and that's all come up so a cross between several different strains of calcium from different breeders, onion growers. So it should have a, the reason we cross of course is to keep that vigour in the strain. Now the rest are all grown from pips. And they're all, all the pips that you can see are from the same onion. The three trays on the, to the left are from one seed head. And the tray on the right are from the second seed head, like I say, from all from the same onion. So they should all be very uniform. Of course, the reason I'll grow from pips is because it uh, increases the chances greatly of the uniformity, which is what we're looking for with exhibition onions. I must stress, I'm a grow for quality, not the world record size, because I would like to eat my onions as well. Moving closer, for those who've not seen pips before, you can just see them at the bottom. They're just pushed into the soil, the root will go down, and then up come the leaves, and off we go. Just close in on the seeds, so very pleasing with the start. So they were set at 18 degrees to get the germination going and then over the next few weeks I'll knock that down so they'll be down to a minimum of probably 12. But the T5 light itself generates a reasonable amount of light and because it's in an enclosed area the extra little warmth keeps in there and at the back is a fan to keep the condensation down keep a bit of fresh air rolling around the onions. Right, Merry Christmas to everybody. Onwards and upwards. Shortest day is nearly here. Spring is on its way. 